Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trading here. Today is uh, May 1st, uh, Wednesday. I'll be going over my recap for today. Um, so today, the market and the small caps are moving. Uh, and I think I traded a lot today. Um, they're all on the short side. Um, so let's get started here. Uh, so the first one I trade, or I'm just gonna go down the list here. So Apple, um, Apple um, it had the uh, earnings uh, after yesterday and it was gapping up. Um, I would have liked this long if it held uh, 214 in flag for the 216 gap fill here uh, all the way back in November. Um, so if it would have break, broken this flag, I probably would have taken it if it had another test there and then another higher low to buy off here with your risk down here. Um, but it end up creating this, um, I think this 22, 213.80. I saw this cup and handle, uh, it broke here. I hit the short, um, covered down here. And then I had another half, uh, where I, I should have stopped break even. Um, but I took a, I took a, a loss there. So it kind of canceled out here. Um, and then later in the day, it had, uh, I think it was breaking this trend line. Yeah. So it was breaking this trend line, uh, here. And then I went ahead and, uh, bought the bounce and then took, took my profits there. And that was just like a $23 winner. Uh, I almost, uh, started a short here during this break, uh, but I think the risk was a little too far. Uh, if it had another bounce here, I would have taken a short with my wrist off there. Uh, but it ended up fading like all the way down. I think uh, something happened to the market. Um, some news came out. So ENPH. So ENPH, uh, I traded twice here and I took uh, two losses from this, this ticker. So the first trade I did was, uh, I think this 1275 area, um, where I saw it, it was breaking here. It broke down. So I went ahead and started short. You can see it's lower, uh, lower highs here. Um, but it ended up holding this, uh, 1270 area. And I was watching it for this fail, uh, flag break here. Uh, if it had another fail flag, flag break and then retest this. It would have been a good long uh, for the 70 break, uh, but it ended up not giving that. Um, uh, and then I ended up sh uh, shorting there. I mean, this this was the, the premature short, uh, and I ended up stopping at the highs here. Um, and then I saw another opportunity here uh, where it was kind of um, selling off here and then bouncing back. So I thought it was gonna retest this and another leg down, um, but end up adding and then taking taking it off when it broke 13. So 13 here was uh, you can see it topping out here at 13, 13, here at 13 and it there. So I, I I had a hard stop and then I stopped at 13. And then a few minutes later it kind of uh, went back down, uh, which is unfortunate. I mean, uh, the positive side of uh, having a hard stop is to make sure you get out. Um, but if you don't have the hard stop, then if you're not disciplined enough, this can easily like uh, trail up and then you would have full issue stopped out. So PCRX, uh, PCRX, I accidentally short this one share uh, and I pretty much just <laughs> took it off and it was like a 60 cent. Uh, loser, but uh, I, I I put a stop order at uh, forty nine trigger. Uh, it never triggered, but uh, I actually hit the key and it just got me in for one share short. Uh, Qcom, Qcom. I just did a little quick scalp uh, after hours. Uh, had bad earnings or 
I might have had good earnings, but it was selling off. So I just went ahead and took a quick scalp here. And it was just a $10. Uh, S books. So S books uh, was kind of unfortunate here, but I saw this uh, little cup and handle forming. I went ahead and started short, covered here, and then stop at the break even. Uh, when I covered the next few minutes, it dropped down. So unfortunately, uh, I stopped out a little too soon. Maybe I should have get, given it some room to stop out to high of day, but. I'm trying to be more uh, disciplined on my stops. So, so staff, staff had a gap up uh, today, and I was looking for a hope of uh, like a 345 push. So you can see these days it, it topped out at 345, um, but then there's other days where it topped out 250. So today it topped out at 250, um, but it had a push of 230 and. I uh, had 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 a 210 level uh, support. Um, it broke it, and I was I was gonna take the 210 there, um, but it it ended up uh, just breaking it through, and then um, I went ahead and started short with my wrist off the 210 area. Um, I ended up taking just my profit here for a quick $24 winner, um, but I wish this would had a you know a little quick setup um, for it. Like a small inverted cup and handle for me to short in with more size, uh, but it just faded all the way back down uh, to fill the gap on the daily. Uh, ZM, ZM, I think I did a quick scalp here, so it was popping up uh, around in the morning. Uh, I had this cup and handle. I went ahead and shorted there uh, and then covered when it hit the five minute, I think. Yeah, so it hit the five minute, not EMA, and I covered there. Um, and it ended up going back down to like 72 during those the same move. Um, that was a $25 winner. Um, and then ZYNE, so my big winner today, um, it had a, you know, this long green days in a row so we're waiting for that big red day so today uh, in the morning it had a little pop and then it sold off and then it was uh, consolidating at the red to green um, even mark uh, I saw this kind of one minute trigger here short trigger um, and then short there we add and then covered and then covered and that was like a quick uh, I think $30 gain um, and then uh, I think yeah, I showed it three times here. So, and then I saw another opportunity here where um, it's creating this higher low. Uh, went ahead and short, and then here's another cup and handle. So you can see that cup handle, and added some more shorts there. Cover it down here, um, and then you can draw another line here, and it was creating higher lows or lower highs. Um, another cup and handle. Added more shorts. Covered, covered and then stop on the rest. I had like 50 shares like, um, to break even. And then I stopped there for 1210, kind of pop back up and then fade it back down. Um, I was thinking about swinging this for like a $11 or $10, $70 uh, on the 90 EMA uh, daily, but uh, I didn't want to swing it uh, because of the borrows. Um, so overall, I'm up uh, $211 trading, uh, shorting a bunch of tickers, um, but uh, we can see the uh, low small cap volumes are back, like ABIO was a really good uh, good setup here. You can see there's like a huge cup and handle broke out and pretty make, made a big move. So hopefully... Um, going on to tomorrow and next week. Uh, this momentum continues with some sympathy plays. Um, but yep, yeah, as always, um, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And if you enjoy my content, I create videos every day on day trading. Um, just don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you, bye-bye.